Hi guys, you can see the drums painted. Got a rowdy color yellow, Suckle Busters yellow. All right, it's gonna be my Suckle Busters themed drum. I've got all the accessories laid out here. Of course, painted in red. Got a cool handle here painted in red. We got our upright pipe. Gonna go here, of course, on the other side. But that's gonna look good. That red and yellow is gonna look tight. I think it is. All right, guys. Let's get on this project. Let's get it all bolted together and ready to go. All right, guys, that stayed a while ago. This drum came out sweet. I'm digging this yellow Suckle Busters color. Here's a look at our charcoal basket along with our high temp VHT paint. There is our handle for the lid, our hinge lids, our exhaust on the lid. Here's our caster brackets along with the casters, the hardware for that. There are handles for the sides. These are our grill gate bolts, our air inlet pipe, and our main air inlet pipe on the bottom, of course. A uh, accessory bracket and this fire black high temp gasket material that's gonna go right in here on this pipes here on both flanges. It's really good material. There's our lid, our two grates. We're using two of the grates today. Also gonna lay it out uh, flat and it's gonna be great. Again, our charcoal basket. There's our Suckle Busters banner, Rick's Barbecue and Specialties. And here's that fire black tape again. Uh, very easy to use. I've never used this before and I'm digging it. It's very easy to apply. It's self-adhesive on the flanges for your uh, air inlets. And I'm gonna use this on my other drums as well. I'm really, really digging this. It's easy to use. It's high temperature and it's gonna keep all that uh, bad air out and keep it tight, so I love it. All right, here you see me installing the first air inlet pipe, the upright. Now what I found here is I'm kind of doing it wrong because I got it up on my table. I need to actually put it down on the floor, actually lay it horizontally so we can get in there. And even when I did do that, I, uh, I couldn't do it. It's a two man job or a uh, man and a uh, little girl job. I got my daughter to help me out, call her in, bribed her with the uh, cold soda and a bag of chips. And uh, she's helping me, she's a, she's a solid good helper. She was able to reach in there with the uh, quarter inch nuts, hold them in place while I tur turned them on top with the uh, screwdriver and or wrench when the time came. So it was a good little father daughter time for the two of us. We were able to knock it out pretty quick actually took about 20 minutes to do uh, the both inlets, the wheel mounting brackets and such, but we knocked it out. Uh, it was pretty, pretty cool, pretty fast. Very easy. I missed AB, he wasn't here to help me, but uh, it did, did get done. Now here you can see the brackets mounted and the uh, inlet pipe mounted on there as well. Everything fit perfectly when they're pre-drilled correctly. You don't have any issues whatsoever, let me tell you. And here you can see it. Uh, walk around uh, with the pipe and the casters. Got it on the floor. They have yet to mount the uh, grill bolts for the grill grates and the temp gauge, but that's all pretty easy. You guys can figure that out, I'm sure. It's uh, money, 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 let me tell you. It's an easy process. It doesn't take long at all. I didn't show those because, uh, like I say, uh, you guys can uh, pretty much get that figured out. The handles and the bolts and everything else that goes from there. It can be done really easy, and uh, don't be afraid to give it a try. Tell you what, guys, I'm really, really digging this drum. It turned out so amazingly beautiful. I've built a few of these, and uh, this is now my new favorite, let me tell you. Check it out. Hey guys, what's going on? What do you think? I've built uh, seven drums now, and this is the prettiest one that I've built so far. Really, really digging it, I'm loving it. Special shout out to AB, y'all know AB, smoking and grilling with AB. We did a collaboration of sorts, but we did it here in my garage. We built his style drum, old school style, with the pipes coming up the sides, ball valves. Look for his channel. He'll be dropping that video very soon. And uh, this one is mine here. Uh, also want to thank UDSparts.com. 
slash Island Outdoors LLC. Donating parts, picking up a new sponsor. Hopefully going to do uh, some good things with those guys. Uh, UDSparts.com, handle, air inlet, wheels, casters, gauge from Lava Lock. Go handle up here, exhaust, hinge for the drum lid. I mean, you can't go wrong, guys. You want to build a drum and your own design, your own budget, UDSparts.com. They, they can hook you up and you can build it your way. Overall cost here, including charcoal basket and grates, right around $300. All right. Again, up to you and what you want to put it in, how you want to change it. It's what you got right here, $300 drum. Not bad. My way. I wanted this design, and I'm digging it, man. I'm loving it. All right, guys. Hopefully, the video was informative. If you have any questions, go down the links below. Reach out to me on Instagram. I'm more than willing to help you guys out all day long, all right? Thanks. Check you out. Catch you all on the next one.